Hey guys, what is up, cool friends? Today we're opening this, another figure. This is one I'm really excited for. This is the older one I have. Now, this is the only one I think I have that I am going to keep the box for. Uh, you'll see why I'm keeping the box for it and a lot of stuff. This is an older figure. Came out in, uh, if I can find a date, 2002. Super an older figure. And you probably saw it because I lifted it up here. It is DC's Solomon Gondi Deluxe. Act figure. It's a big boy. Big box. Uh, the reason I'm keeping, I think I might keep this box because one, it's in like just a box that I can easily open, like a, you know, like a box I can easily open and keep. I think this type of box has more value than the other stuff. So we will be keeping this box. And also, if I want to store this figure, when I, if I pack up or go somewhere, I think this would be cool. And also, this box is in decent condition. That's one I'm not, I don't feel like it's old and I don't feel like just throwing it away because it's in one of these just, like, you know, um, cardboard box, little like cardboard boxes. It's not like one of these, uh, for example, it's not like one of these where I'm like worried about just I don't mind just throwing these ones away. It's kind of in the nicer one, so a one if I open it, kind of store the box. This one I can probably open without showing the box. So let's jump into it. Opening this, I'm really excited to open the song Grundy. So let's jump into it. And those, so yeah, so let's jump into it. Bam! We got the song Grundy here. Let's figure out how to open. First, let's look at the box. So it says DC's song Grundy deluxe action figure. You have the figure there, and it says um, pocket superhero. Free sound for uh, figure inside, so it has a little figure, we'll look at that when we get inside it. Just as the American, this is an old set. I'm looking to see if there's anything on the other on the side. It's not really, so let's look at the back. We have Solomon Grundy here. I like the text, that's his font. The like action figure. Here's a little blurb about the character. And here's some of the other figures you can get from like the Justice Society line. Like Power Girl and Wildcat, who look really cool, I would definitely be against. Not against picking up, these are really some of the best. These are really high quality figures for back then, so it's nice. We have a Lobo one, obviously I'm a Lobo fan. Grundy, uh, Gorilla God, not Grundy. Gorilla God looks nice. I think Lobo looks good. And Superman Lobo looks, looks good. And this is the figure you get a Wonder Woman little figure. I don't know why Wonder Woman. But yeah, well, let's open this bad boy up. I think there's tape on the top. Yep, there is some tape right here on the seam. So we think we'll just cut that. And we should be good to go. I'm quite sure that damage in the box. There we go. So I think we got it. Can the box just open? Yes. Let's flip it around. Pull out the figure. And what else do you have? Anything else in there? No, just the green. Oh, it has like this plastic. And then we have the green piece of thing. Uh, okay, this green. Okay, what is that? I said I want to keep the box, so I set it over here for now. The box. I must take out all the things here. The one where I'm going to yeah, go and use. You see how he's attached, if he attaches. Yeah, but he has twisties, so we gotta take all these twisties off. That is fun. You take all these twisties off. You gotta untwist all these things. That's like what these figures do. You gotta untwist them and see if we get boom. There's one off. They're gonna have the bumps, so we can take these off. And I will edit this. Is this I think it's boring? I'll edit it out. I'll edit it out. If I don't, I don't. There we go. Now we do a foot. Then we can we get all of these, and then we can get this guy out of here. And there we go. So obviously, it won't be mint in box. So, so we have one more leg, and I think we have one on this club or whatever item he has. So I think these are they don't fall out. For a box of this big that the guy comes in, makes sense. This is an older figure. I got this at a flea market, same with the Dr. Midnight, where I said, is I'm probably gonna be, came out, come out before this. I don't know. Who knows when these are gonna come out, but. There, and then we have one over here on his, with his club or whatever. We'll unscrew this bad boy. And, going. And that's just, yeah, everything, yep, obviously just came out. I put all this trash over here, take these. And let's open this one one figure as well. Get her out. Okay, I guess let's look at the pocket center. So we have the pocket size one one has a nice face. These are older figures and the face is fine. Like it, obviously these have a specific style and look to them. I've seen what some of the other ones look like. I don't own any, but I've seen I've seen some pictures of a couple of the other ones. So yeah, they're supposed to be like these little figures and they look nice for what they are. They have Wonder Woman face and hair printing is nice. Little arms so just bend like this. And then we have the legs, we'll move like this, and then I think the body. 
Why is the body? Yep, the body can go like this. But it's nice. Nice little Wonder Woman figure, and it does not have, it does have a little, um, peg on the foot, but probably, I don't know why they have that, because I don't know if you can just dance this, uh, for these specific figures, but yeah, really nice little Wonder Woman figure, I'm happy to get that. Let's look at the Gundy and everything he has. Particularly have this, what is like a, or the stick or whatever thing he has. Look really nice, I like how the end, you can see how it looks like it's like a, like it looks like the wood, like the wood is like kind of gone at the end. That's kind of cool, like it's the inside of the wood. Um, and we have this end, we have all this shock stuff on it, it was cool. And now look at Gundy himself, look at this guy. Holy, this looks like a figure or a statue. His head does move, like that. So, nice printing on the head, looks like him. Arms and everything look fine. He moves, his body feels a little weird. I think can his, can his waist move? Uh, no, he seems like he has limited movement. So his leg can move like this, what's nice. His other leg can move kind of like that, ooh, like that. This arm can move like, yep, this, I think this figure is because it's been so much in, uh, been in this thing for so long. Yeah, this figure moves as well. So yeah, he looks cool. I uh, does have a thing, actually, to put on a thing. So he could actually maybe go on a stand. But, the thing, thing with this figure is, as you can see, it's pretty big. So, I, you would need a pretty big stand for this guy, so this guy might not go on a stand because of that. But I want to open this, and I'm looking to see if his body moves at all. It seems like his body might move a little bit, but not really, like, this part, the waist does not move. But, I mean, he, he's great, the shoe, printing on the shoes, so cause, he's a very simple character, but he looks great with the belt, the shirt, the black, I like how the black of his, of his, uh, shirt here feels like a different texture, has like a texture to it, which I like. And that's kind of cool, and on the back we see we have a big rip mark and stuff, it's cool, this is a nice figure, like, this is a nice figure for back then. It's not super, like, I would say, it does have a lot of points of movement and stuff, but it doesn't feel like a figure because it does feel a little constricted with his head and, like, his body's going in a specific direction, but it is still a freaking cool figure. And we're gonna put this guy in, I think he has to go in this one, because the other one I don't think he's gonna fit. Yep, he goes in this one, and boom! There we go! Got him, I don't, this guy, like I said, probably just gonna stand like this. And he stands pretty much on his own, so that's pretty much all we can get for this guy. And we got the one on who I believe can one more stand on her own. First, let's see if you can stand on your own, and then we can. Yeah, you can stand on your own. One more can stand on her own as well, but obviously, if I knock the table, one one's gonna fall off these Oh, he would too, but yeah. Atmosphere where we open the Solomon Grundy figure, and obviously, like I said, this one does not have a stand. I'm not probably gonna get a stand. I might cry, but I think this one's not gonna get a stand because it's so big. And this stand has to be a really big stand, and the ones I, even those mega ones I bought, are not gonna fit this. I need to get more of those, but yeah, this is really cool to get this. Really like this figure. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Also, like I said, it came with the little one one figure. It was also really nice. So yeah, this is an older figure, so it's kind of interesting to look at figures from now and back then. They are how different they are, but still, like, this is cool. <laughs> this is a pretty still cool looking figure. The Mormon's fine, because these are made to look like this, so those are kind of, like, I can't really say much bad about them, because there's nothing really bad about them, and they're kind of made to look simple and kind of, sometimes like that. But this is still a cool figure, and I would, you could have this as in some type of a mold, as a more like a statue, where stuff maybe doesn't move, and you could have this guy as a statue, and then have maybe like a little scene, or have him fight somebody, and you could do a little thing like this if you wanted to now. And it would still be pretty cool. But yeah, this is a really quality figure. I got it for like, so I got cheap because it was at flea market. I love getting these figures. I will look for more figures because they're nice. So thank you guys for watching this video. You guys can always stay up and see you in the next video, guys. Bye, cool fam.